Well, hello there. This is day four, and we're leaving Edinburgh for the Shetland Islands. We're off very early to the airport and making our way an hour and a half north. We are flying on Logan Air on their ATR, which has over 12 rows of four seats. It's a turboprop, and it should be a lot of fun. Shetland, also called the Shetland Islands, and formerly Zetland, is an archipelago in Scotland lying between Orkney, the Faroe Islands, and Norway. It's the northernmost region of the United Kingdom. The islands lie about 80 kilometers to the northeast of Orkney, 170 kilometers from the mainland, Scotland, and 220 kilometers west of Norway. In flight, I noticed a strange image on the clouds. It happened to be the sun shining on the plane going over the clouds. It must be a sign of good luck. We are finally getting close to the airport. We can hardly wait to land and to start our adventure. Our journey begins at the heart of Scalloway, its charming harbor. The harbor is surrounded by colorful fishing boats gently swaying in the calm waters, creating a captivating scene that will leave you in awe. The vibrant buildings along the waterfront add a touch of charm and character to this quaint fishing village. Nestled in the heart of Scalloway, the cornerstone bread and breakfast stands tall as a testament to Shetland's rich heritage. Its name, Cornerstone, reflects its significance in the community, providing a home away from home for travelers from all over the world. Just a stone's throw away from the harbor stands the iconic Scalloway Castle. Its ancient walls tell a story of history and intrigue. Built in the 17th century, the castle has seen its fair share of drama and conflict. As we walk by, you can almost feel the echoes of the past and see the breathtaking views. And near the castle, we found the famous Shetland ponies. They were friendly and allowed us to pet them and to share the love. In the afternoon, we traveled along to Lyric, the capital of Shetland and there were iconic buildings everywhere. And it was fun going down Commerce Street to visit all the shops. A short walk later, we went to the harbor. And there we found some interesting artwork and displays of the old Mariner devices. We came across this interesting artwork of a large rabbit. How happy was Andy? An interesting history link with the Scalloway Castle is the infamous Shetland Bus. The Shetland Bus was a wartime resistance movement taking wireless operators, armaments, and combatants into Nazi-occupied Norway and returning with refugees and resistant operatives during World War II. 
With our evening return, we saw a beautiful rainbow over the harbor in Scalloway. And of course, we enjoyed the calmness and the noises of a typical harbor. This pub was supposed to be closed. Hmm. But it's open on the, on the internet. Oh. Thanks for joining. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to follow our incredible Scottish journey. Please post your comments below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time.